Blue Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting shadow designs using various distort and smart objects. Now, I've got this dog design here. Now, the dog design is available on the Graphic Extra website. It's part of the custom shape sets and a whole range of different dogs here. Well, I've selected this one now. I'm using it as a shape, with a, just a fill like that. It's just a silhouette. So, what you need to do now is just go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. Right, once that's done, now I'm just going to duplicate it via a layer, duplicate layer. We'll see a, another layer come up here. I'm going to have two shadows in this, so I'm just going to go to a layer and duplicate layer again. So I've got two shapes, and now what I want to do is actually add some shadow to them. So I'm just going to go to there. And I'm going to go to filter because they're smart objects. You can actually make apply smart filters. I'm going to go for a Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to go for that. And another one. Obviously, you can now, of course, vary the Gaussian blur. You don't have to go that. Maybe make it more extreme. Maybe really blurred. But click OK. Right. Once you've actually done that, now you can actually apply maybe a layer effect, give it maybe a different color than uh, the color. So I've just gone for obviously a mustardy sort of orange. So now, layer style, color overlay, and I'm gonna go for gray. So I've got a gray there, and I'm gonna click OK. Pasty, just turn that down a bit. And I'm gonna go over now to the thing again, and a layer, layer style, and again, add another gray. Change the slight grey, just go slightly lighter. Right, okay, once that's done, and I'm gonna also modify the opacity again for that as well. Now, I'm just gonna move that up there. So you've got that one on top, so that's the original dog shape. Now you've got the other ones below, so I'm now gonna to go to that one first, and I'm going to edit and transform and distort. That just puts it back to that. I'm just going to distort it over that way, so it's going to just going to like some sort of floor. Just going to go on. So it's going to go off from that point there, that point there. So it's just drifting off that way. Double click, and then you've got that shadow going there. And and now I'm just going to go to the other one, and I'm going to go to edit and transform. And I'm not going to go that direction, I'm actually going to go the other way, so I'm just going to go distort. And again, you can see the uh, underline. I'll just put, drag that down a bit over that way. It's very easy just to quickly uh, lose that way, sort of. I'm just going to go that direction. And there you've got it, sort of two shadows going off, obviously that direction and that direction. And of course you can vary it, you don't actually have to keep that, you can actually continue again, it's still a live effect, so, so that can go distort, and you can if you decide, you can always just move it there. I'm just going to keep it there. I go down that way. Right, and that's it, finished. And of course at that point you can, if you wish, just go and flatten the image.